Hey guys, Frosty Mines here again. We're going to do another tutorial. Um, if you're wondering what's on this, this is for one of our LED controllers for our clear case. Uh, so I got all those on there. Alright, we're going to do a drop shot button and a reload mod today. Basically what you're going to do is, you're going to take this, find your point, my point's right there, what I want, and then you're going to take... I got ruby fluid, soldering tux, uh, flux, um, you're going to get a Q-tip, you want a Q-tip out so you're not getting it everywhere, open it up, don't breathe this stuff in, it is toxic and very harmful, I would not get this on you because it will hurt. Probably will suck pretty bad too. Alright, set that off to the side. Basically, you're gonna take this after you. So, I got my flux ready. You're gonna take that. You wanna, you wanna clean off your point. Every controller is a little different. You can take off right here. Scratch that down a little bit where you can see the tin. Got that down too. Now you're gonna take your flux and you're gonna flux it. Now this is gonna be the reload mod for the no. This is gonna be drop shot mod. And then you're gonna take some wire. Here's one I already did. Now I don't really recommend using like this. I'd rather hook it up to where the B, B button goes. I already started getting the reload mod done. Uh, this is not a good version of it. We at Frost Mods offer a better reload mod with the chip and it works a lot better. But I guess if you want to try to do this, but it, if you mess up, you can ruin your B button or X button. So if you're not any good at soldering or don't have a 15 watt soldering iron I recommend not doing this because uh, these buttons are very sensitive to heat I'm using a 15 watt uh, 300 degrees um, probably the max out you want to do on it um, unless you have an adjustable soldering iron but uh, probably not many of you do so uh, basically that's what you want to do got your stuff on there then you wanna get your tactical button you can buy these at Frosty Mods too you're gonna hook your two wires up to it and then you're gonna drill yourself a hole so that you can put your tactical switch in it you're gonna glue it down with hot glue don't use super glue cause it'll fuck it up but uh... yeah that's pretty much it when you're done with that, you're pretty much done. Alright, it's another Frosty Mods tutorial. Thanks, guys.